Welcome to another paperless office series. That's what I've decided to call all of these videos. So today I'm gonna to show you how to use Adobe Scan that is on your phone or on your iPad. It is totally free and it will help you take any paper or really any image and turn it into a PDF document or a huge collection of documents and make those like one PDF. So I have been on a mission this year to go completely digital using my iPad only. Everything is backed up in Google Drive, so I don't even have to worry if I lose my device, which was a concern maybe circa 10 or 20 years ago. But today, because there are so many apps out there and so many cloud-based services, there's really no reason that anybody, if they wanted to, couldn't go completely digital. So. I'm super excited about this series, so we're just gonna keep going on because every day I think there's like nothing else to talk about, but then I think of something else that I can do to make myself more digital and make myself more organized digitally because I think getting organized in a digital format and storage capacity is much different, uh, more different than in a paper-based system. So that's all we're gonna focus on for this year is going digital. So if you are like me, you probably have recipe books. That's what we're gonna do today I have um, been starting to cook just recently like last year and because of that I just bought recipe like actual physical books so I could look at them while I was in the kitchen but they're taking up a lot of space in my kitchen and I really just don't want all of this clutter like when I think about moving and I think about moving books it's like just makes me sad when I think of all the apartments I've been in and like how many books I've moved, like boxes and boxes of books from one location to another location. Like that was crazy. However, in my defense, that was the 90s and the 2000s when there really weren't a lot of digital options. And even publishers were like, we're not doing this ebook thing. That's crazy and weird. So yeah. <laughs> Anyways, there are still some publishers out there that aren't making everything digital. Or if you bought an entire, like I love this cookbook, The Minimalist Baker. However, I don't love every recipe in here. So why am I keeping this entire book? So, you know, the first option obviously is to take anything that is physical and just buy the Kindle version of it. However, if you're like me and you're like, I only need three recipes from that book, it probably isn't worth it to pay for the 15 or $14 or whatever for the Kindle version. And cookbooks are pretty expensive for the Kindle version. So I'm just going to show you how to scan that in with Adobe Scan. I know this is like the longest introduction, so <laughs> let's get into it. Hi everyone, I'm Lisa from Pretty Fabulous and I help online businesses create beautiful digital downloads using Adobe InDesign. So if this sounds like you or something you might be interested in, make sure to hit the subscribe button below. I post new videos every day day or every week. I don't know. I've been posting every day, but I don't know if I can commit to that, but we're just going to say I post videos all the time. How about that? So here's my setup. I have over on my desk, I have this uh, white background block and I'll leave a link to that where I purchased it, but there's a ton of places where you can buy these like photo uh, backup blocks. And then I have this clamp here that I've advertised a lot, not advertised, but like talked about in all of my YouTube videos. And this is what I use for my unboxings. I, it's super cheap. I think it was like like 10 bucks. It just clamps on to the side and it works great. It's not the most stable thing, but it's just holding your phone. So that's what we're going to do. Uh, and that way then you can just put your uh, phone over here and then look down and then flip the pages for things that you want to save. All right, the first thing you're gonna do is open up the App Store and download Adobe Scan PDF Scanner. So there's this Adobe Scan Premium, just ignore that, I don't know what that is, but I promise you can do everything else that you need to do in just the regular Adobe Scan. So we're gonna open that up, and then you're gonna see it's gonna look for a document like right away, and it's going to guess where the um, edges of the paper are, and then it's gonna look again, so you have to like flip the page really quickly, and it's gonna just kind of guess. And then same thing over here. And it's getting a little confused because the white and the orange, it thinks that there are two different pages. That's just the way this is set up. So we're just gonna scan in a couple more pages so you can see. And you can see it kind of flashes like it's taking a picture. There we go. And then let's do one more page. And that's it. So when you're done, you just hit that box on the bottom right uh, where it has been collating all of your pages. And I can see page one through six, and I can look at page two, and I can look at page three, four, 
five, and six. Now, there for the most part, it does a pretty good job, and that's why I said you want to put have a an overhead. Uh, holding your phone so that you can hold it steady because when you go back in here like this one looks it got part of the page so what we're going to do is here on the bottom we're going to go ahead and say crop and then I can just pull these corners in on the top or the bottom or I could hold that bar in the middle and pull it all the way over but it's a little crooked there so I'm going to bring that down I'm going to bring this over here and I'm pretty good with that so I'm just going to click that check mark at the top right and now you can see it's resized it. So over here, same thing. It looks a little weird. I don't know if we can kind of save this. Oh yeah, we can. So the nice thing is it takes a picture literally of everything uh, in case you need to resize to include or exclude more area, but it does it, its best guess at where it thinks the page edges are. So we're gonna tap that top right check mark and now it's going to resave it. This looks okay. This looks good. Um, I guess this is tight. I guess we're being really, really, uh, we could do the crop again. Um, it looks slightly off, like, but barely. Um, and maybe this needs to come out. There we go. And then I can hit the check mark. And that looks good. So now we have pages one through six. So over here at the top where it says scan January 2016, 2022, I'll hit the little pencil and I will call this my T sample PDF or whatever I want to call it, right? Um, and it, I don't know why it gives you, oops, suggestions. And I will click rename. And now you can see it's called T sample PDF. And then at the top right, I will click save PDF and it will save this PDF for me. And now all of these PDFs are saved for me on my Adobe Scan. So you're probably like, well, where can I get all of these documents? All your files are at the top right, if you hit those three buttons, you can click view all scans. And I think I have some like tax documents in there, so I can't show them to you. But when you view all scans, it puts them all in alphabetical order by the name of the document for you. Um, now, if you wanna get all of these documents, if you go back here to more, uh, you can go ahead and you can see all of your documents. Hold on, let me show you. Uh, over in view files on Adobe on Acrobat online. So when you first log into Adobe Scan, and I haven't done it in a while, it'll ask you to create a user ID and password for Adobe specifically. And then it'll bring you to this page. And when you log in, it will show you all of your documents. So you could actually access this. So if I hit the share button over here, I can send that website over to my computer. And then once that website's on my computer, I could log in and then I could see all of my documents on my computer and then I could upload them to Google Drive or wherever Dropbox or wherever you store your PDFs. So um, let me show you my computer. So over here on my computer, it is asking me to sign in to Acrobat Online and I will sign in as me. And then once I'm in here, I can see all of the documents that I've ever scanned onto my computer. Some of them are just called scan 13 or whatever. Um, and so you can see it's in order by name. If we want to do by modified, then I can see that last one I just did, which is my T sample over here. And then I can go ahead and download this. So now it is a PDF all by itself. And I can go ahead and upload this to Google Drive. And then once it's in Google Drive, I can access it via Notability, which is my preferred app. So I'll leave a link to that below if you're not sure where that's at. But hopefully this was helpful in showing you how to take things that are paper-based only, where you don't have maybe a PDF electronic backup document uh, that you're able to save and how to go ahead and save that in an electronic format so that you can then throw it away. <laughs> or I guess I should say recycle it. All right, I hope everyone's having a fabulous day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.